Okay, so this video will be about how to establish Modbus TCP communication between, in this case, a Codesys B3.5.4 controller and a C Sharp application. Uh, I'm running Sharp uh, Sharp Develop here in my computer. Um, and uh, well, I created this uh, quick program just to make an explanation uh, on how to do it on C Sharp. The codices portion is uh, very simple. Basically, what you have to do is you have to add, add an Ethernet uh, adapter. Just go to Add Device, Field Buses, and then you're, you'll see here Ethernet, and you add it like this. You'll have this, and then on top of this one, uh, um, you add another device, and then add a slave device. Then what else do we have to to um, configure here? We just have to set the basically the holding registers and the input registers, and then um, that will be it. Uh, you will get the I/O map in here. Uh, I recommend uh, using the enable two or enable one just so you get the updating. Um, so now I'm gonna log back in. Okay, I have errors because I need to change this library. I need to set it to 3.5.2. I'm running, a, as I mentioned before, a, a controller running 3.5.4. So I need to run this older library. We go. So basically, what I'm doing here is I'm running uh, counters on, on different on different output addresses, and I'm doing that by just a blink uh, block here, counter up, and then once I reach a set point, I just reset the counter, right? And here I call that POU and I assign the the values of the counter to the my Modbus outputs. So if I go back here, I have my Modbus outputs and my uh, inputs, and this will be the data that I see that I sent from the uh, computer. So right now, um, I have uh, this application, and which I which I'll be running. So I'm gonna run it right now. And this is the application. So right now I'm disconnected. Here I can establish an I can establish an IP address. So this IP address is the uh, PLC IP address in the 502 port. So here I'll see the inputs that are, are being sent by the counter, and here I can write um, values to the um, to the PLC. So if I put a Another IP address, I should get an exception here. Timeout, connection could not, could not be established. Please check connection parameters, all right? So I set my correct IP address, connect, and I start seeing the values coming from the, um, from the PLC here, all right? And then I can write values. So if we remember, everything is zero right now. So I'm gonna try and put this by the side. So I can put values here to each of the inputs on the PLC, right? Okay. So now let's get to the code on C chart and see how that looks like. So here, basically, two important things. I'm using two references here. Uh, Easy Modbus. So Easy Modbus is something that I got from the internet. Uh, it's a DLL file, and I'm using the system threading. And uh, I'm using threads because I wanted to run. Uh, actually, I'm running three different threads on this: one for writing, one for reading, and the other one for um, uh, another thread that's always running, and that's just for error checking. So uh, here, I just start by creating a Modbus client. Then I um, 
I create my 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 read thread, my write thread, and my always running thread. These are the three threads that I will I will be running. This is by default initialized component. Then here I I start my always running thread. Now, if you remember, what I did is I click con connect, and what what that'll do is is uh, I'll start this uh, method over here, which is called listen, and um, I'll set a, a timer, uh, which is the one that establishes how often I'm polling for um, for new information, either writing or uh, reading or writing. So every 25 milliseconds, I'm doing that. Now, uh, once I establish that, I just hit start. And now I have this uh, poll timer tick, which is, which comes from here. Poll timer tick. So each time the timer sets uh, gets to 25 milliseconds established here, it'll send. Uh, it'll it'll go through this uh, sequence, right? So start here, and then the tick. And if I, my connection is true, then I read and write. Then listen, the one here, listen is actually this method. And here what I'm doing is uh, by listen, I mean I start trying to connect to the TCP client. And here what I, I, I get the IP address from the text box from this one and I get the port from this one. So IP address and then port. Uh, port here and um, I'm actually not using the timeout so I can re get rid of that now um, here once I um, once I do that once I go through the listen I just start the, the read thread and I start the write uh, thread now if I'm not connected I try to connect and if there's an exception such as the one that I showed before like uh, the cable is disconnected or I don't I don't have any communication at all to the PLC then I'll get this exception and I'll get the message box now whenever I hit disconnect this is what happened I'll execute this stop listening method I'll abort the, the both uh, threads the read and write threads and then I'll just disconnect the Modbus client all right so when do I execute my read? I execute my read up here, here. So I execute read every 25 milliseconds, right? So read, and what that happens is, first of all, I create an, uh, an array of in integers. Um, and then if I do have connection to the client, um, what I do is uh, I I execute this read input registers. So by reading the input registers, basically what I'm doing is I'm uh, reading this, trying to read what the PLC is sending, right? So read input registers and now zero, zero means uh, the starting address. And I can look at that if I just hit here. So it's an integer starting address and then the quantity. Oh, 10. And how did I came up with those numbers? So, oops. If I go here, I'm starting from this. Uh, so this will be my zero and this, this will be 10. If I had more outputs like 15, then I will put 15 or depending which ones I want to read, right? And then, um, the 10, of course, is uh, the amount that I want to read. And then, so this is assigned to this um, integer over here. And then I create a, a, an array of string variables here of 10, of course. And basically what I, what I did this for is I'm going to be showing the values that I'm getting from the PLC. I'm going to be showing them on uh, text boxes, right? So the on these text boxes. So that's what I do here. So I get from this from this array, I get them um, I get the values to this array of strings. 
and basically that's what we're doing on these two sections over here so from uh, integer to string we write it onto onto this uh, variable and then from this variable we write it directly into the text box and of course we could have maybe we could have skipped this uh, step and just write it directly to the text box but uh, I just wanted to be more explicit here on what's going on now the write uh, method this happens as uh, just as the, the read method happens uh, is executed so the write method is happening each 25 milliseconds here every uh, take of the poll timer so we go to write and here what it is saying is that if the Modbus client is connected then I create this array and now this array I directly get the values that are coming from the um, from what I put on the text box so if I write something here it'll assign directly those variables to an array of integers so here I'm just converting from string to integer and then this array as a whole I can write it to write to multiple registers here so if you take a look at that again it asks you for a starting address and then the uh, write values or whatever you want to write right and then this basically is my always running um, thread and here I'm just checking for um, for events like or trying to uh, do some error checking so for example uh, what happens if I disconnected I just change the label or I just put the button to read only only um, etc right or if uh, the user puts uh, something that's not zero like an empty string I, I put a zero on it and of course there's a lot of things that you can do to avoid um, or to have a more robust application but in this case I just wanted to show how it is working with a code controller via Modbus and of course this is using the easy Modbus DLL so again I can um, I can write values and this is what I was talking about like if I delete this zero I wanted to at least have something on the string otherwise the application will crash um, some of the other things that this application needs would be to what happens if I connect and then I suddenly stop or disconnect the cable I'm gonna have an exception here um, so and that's because I, I didn't add the code uh, I just wanted to show something quick but uh, if you wanted to build like a complete like a full-blown application out of this you will have to take those factors into consideration of course it's not running so if I start it and then you go back here connect and I'll have the connection again so that's it